Hey everyone, welcome back to another Death Frontier video. Um, this is going to be a very, very quick video, just because I want to get this out of the way, you know, a uh, little guide video, as, as always, you know, I like helping you guys out with my sort of suggestions, you know, tips, tricks, whatever the hell. But uh, it's a shotgun build, I'm going to go over the skills I'm using, my advice with it, the shotguns, and also the gear I'm using in terms of like stat boosting. So let's get into it. Right now, as you can see, I'm only level 17. Um, I am prestige one though, so you have to you have to bear in mind that I've got an extra skill. But we're going to take this. I'm going to talk about this as if I haven't got that extra skill slot, um, and just go off of what I think would be best um, for you guys to use. So the skills I'm using are shotgun expert four, fast learner four, marksman four, sprinter four, and reloading. Now. I'm only using five skills. I don't intend to go any higher than that. Um, I could probably go higher than that when I hit like max rank, but as we said, as I said before, we're talking about just standard non-prestige people. Um, what you should be using for a shotgun build. Now I'm going to go over every reason for my for my current things. So I'm going to go for sprinter because that's the obvious controversial one. A lot of people are very iffy about uh, sprint compared to jogger and stuff like that. Um, the reason I use sprinter is it's more of a personal thing. You could easily uh, what's the word? You can easily counter change this for something else. Or you know, just stick with it. Whatever the hell, you don't you don't need Sprinter three. You could use Sprinter one if you wanted to, but I use Sprinter three. Probably going to use Sprinter four just because Sprinter four, I don't know, it's a lot more. Having all this stuff maxed out just would be better in my opinion, and I don't see a point in starting out a new skill when I'm already this close to prestige anyway. I may as well just go with what I got. So basically, that's the reasoning for Sprinter three. It's it's a very iffy one. You could. You could change it if you wanted. It's not required in the slides because the you know the point of this build is that you're going to be able to take down zombies quickly and just shoot them back if necessary. It's not going to be that difficult unless you're trying to fight bosses. Um, you've also got reloading, which is fantastic for ammo capacity. Which honestly, ammo capacity is not that necessary until you get to the Chesterfield. The Chesterfield makes it a really rough time. You know, um, the Chesterfield only has two shots by default in its uh, in its clip. That is not much. It's a double barrel shotgun with two shots, and if you want to go any higher, you have to use ammo capacity to get higher amounts of uh, ammo. Now, luckily, I'm using a spas now. Um, the d the thing with the spas is that it has like uh, eight bullets in the uh, in, in the clip, but because I have the ammo capacity, I've got like a max of ten right now. I don't know if you can see that, but I have a max of ten. That's not too much. It's not over the top, but it's definitely more than enough. I don't know how much the sawn off has. I think it's only gonna have two because the end of the day, it's a double barrel. So sawn off will probably be back back to hell, but the uh, the spas is very 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 good as like a sort of final thing to be using unless you don't plan on prestige. So um yeah. You also get Shotgun Expert 4. Shotgun Expert 4 is a no-brainer. If you're going for a shotgun build, or any kind of weapon build, if you're going for a melee build, why would you not go for Melee Expert? You know, it's it's one of those things you sort of have to consider. It's better to go for Shotgun Expert um, if you're going for shotguns. I don't uh, suggest putting any other guns in here, as if you're focusing solely on shotguns, why would you want to, you know, change over a different one? So, Shotgun Expert's a no-brainer. You get a hell of a lot of stats to all shotguns. Uh, fast Learner 4, uh, XP gain is very important if you want to grind. And that's what I'm using this build for. You could change this if you wanted to, but shotguns are mainly there to just for leveling up really quickly and just doing well. Um, if you if you don't really care, you could just use melee. Um, it's not a really big deal. And marksman four is just there to help you aim quicker. It's not overly quick, but um, it's still it's still a really good little boost to help you uh, aim on those zombies as quickly uh, as possible. So that's all the skills. Um, pretty basic skills. Don't plan to change them anymore. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got here. I might, uh, you could change out Sprinter Free for Headhunter if you wanted to to get some extra uh, headshot damage, but I'm pretty happy with that so far. Um, in terms of gear, I got, I've got an axe. Um, I really do suggest bringing a melee weapon, uh, just in case you happen to run out of ammo and stuff like that. It's always good to bring a melee, just in case. Um, you don't really need a special stat boosted one, really, unless you're just trying to boost your shotguns. I've got a Spas 12 standard one. You could get a better Spas 12 or a better shotgun, whatever you're using, um, but I just stuck with the standard for this. Um, the more important stuff though, a uh, rare army hat which has 11% headshot damage and plus 2 aim speed. The aim speed is not that big of a deal, the headshot damage sure as hell is. Uh, hiking boots only have sprint duration, really nothing important. Same with the hoodie, nothing really that important. Um, trousers, not that important. But the woolly gloves, uh, you get extra 4% experience, 6% uh, damage versus infected and 9% uh, headshot. The headshot damage is the most crucial thing. If I go to my stats, I've got 20% plus headshot um, damage, I think, wherever that is. There it is. Plus 20% headshot damage, um, which is mental. And on top of that, I've also got shotgun plus shotgun headshot damage, which uh, will, I'm assuming it stacks, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it stacks, which is a lot faster. 
So as you can see, my shotgun does 25 headshot damage, whereas it would usually do 18, which is nuts. That's a lot of uh, a lot of damage to be outputting in one little headshot. Um, you can take down literally anything in one hit with that, other than bosses, of course. Um, like the big fat like mutated zombies, um, it's hard to get full headshots with them. But if you actually hit every single pellet, then you, in my experience, you do kill him in one. Um, so it's it's there's a pretty damn effective shit I've got going on here. So I would definitely advise you get as much shotgun stuff as possible. There is a debate about whether body damage is more important. I don't think body damage is anywhere near as important as headshot damage. If you can aim pretty well effectively towards the head, I don't think there's a problem with going for full on headshot damage. Um, so uh, that's 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 my sort of you know take on it. Um, but that's pretty much the build. Uh, it's it's very simplistic, but. The way I actually run this build, because you might be wondering about how like you sustain so much money. Um, the main reason, the main way I sustain money is by saving the ammo for the bosses, and in most cases using mission guides or melee for the actual missions. Now, this is clearly a point that could change in the future because I reckon Neil will eventually rework the missions so they're not going to be as sort of easily exploitable, um, and there won't be mission guides everywhere. I think it will be refined a little bit more. Um, so that you're going to need to use a bit of ammo here and there, but for now it's working pretty well and even if you don't, you'll get stuck in this sort of limbo thing if you're constantly using ammo because of the costs of it. You're going to be stuck in this limbo where you're going to be using a lot of ammo um, and you're still going to be gaining money, so you're going to get to a point where you're barely losing any and the, you will eventually gain if you get elite, but it's not fantastic. So for now, the way it works I think is pretty solid um, if you do the mission guns and stuff, but you, have, you do have to be kind of like you do sort of have to reserve yourself. You can't just splash so much money on um, 12 gauge all the time. You know, you can't just spend loads of money on like 300 shells. It's a bit, it's a bit nuts to do that. Um, so ultimately, I think going for, you know, just buying about eight, about buying about 100 shells per session to go and fight some bosses. I think that's pretty good. Um, I've obviously got a fast learner, and if I check my stats, I've got 24% uh, experience gain, um, which. It's pretty damn good if you compare, like, because you get around 500 XP per bosses, but if I have the fast learner and the extra experience gain from this little thing here, I end up gaining, like, 700 experience per boss, which is a lot more significant. You know, that's, that's that's like, almost a full mission in Haverbrook or Greywood in one little boss. That's really quick. And if you go through the entirety of Albendale, that has, like, eight shops. That's right, it has, like, eight apartments. So if you go through, like, what's the word? It's a rich bar. I think rich bar has, like, the most... That's 10 boss rooms. Uh, in fact, no, that's... Um, you've got 18 boss rooms in Albanale and Richbow. That's a hell of a lot of experience you're going to get from all of those bosses. Obviously, if you do the missions and you just shoot through them, you're going to gain a lot more experience in the long run. But I think, honestly, the payoff is not as good. I think just going, you know, doing the mission guides um, and not wasting too much money on your ammo... Um, you really can make a profit out of this out of this build. Obviously, I don't use it to make profit. I just use it to level up. Once I'm like max rank, I'm gonna be focusing on my looter character. That's where all the profit's gonna come from. But uh, for for what it is, you can make a bit of money out of it um, if you if you don't spend too much money sh if you don't spend too much time in shooting. I don't use the melee very often. I only really use it for leeches or the odd zombie. Um, so it's n it's not a crazy obsession with it. I don't use it all the time, but um, I use it as my primary thing for taking down zombies or taking down bosses. I'm pretty happy with this build. It's, it's treated me pretty well. I've enjoyed it a lot more than doing the melee run <laughs> for the first prestige. I don't know, just going around with a shotgun is always fun. And it's always good when you prestige because you keep the amount of money you have anyway, so you can sort of just jump right back into it and just start over fresh without having to worry about money, you know. So honestly, I think it's a pretty good build. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what you'd change, etc, etc. Hopefully this helped you a little bit in your little shotgun build ways, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye, mate.